adventure! Hey everyone, welcome back to Dig Deep, the talk show where we talk about digging deep. We're having a great month here so far, full of excitement and adventure. We're continuing to dig deep and discover how we can live with wisdom. And today we will see that wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. All of us need wisdom. All of us have to face tough decisions and we need to know how to make the wise choice. The great news is we can always ask God for wisdom. He's there to help us. After all, wisdom comes from him. Back with us today is our special guest to help us know what wisdom is all about. And don't forget to give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's welcome back Perceptive Prudent Patty, Sage of the West. Welcome back, PPP. We're so happy to have you on our channel this month. We're talking about wisdom and you are wise. Let's start with this. How do we find out what to do in life? Well, life is filled with choices. We must be wise to make the wise choice. With that, do we ever get a break in making wise choices? Here, I will give you the most profound and wise answer I know to that question. Nope. Geez, it sounds like we have to keep growing in wisdom and we never get a break from learning. Ah, oh, now you are onto something. That is correct. We are always faced with choices all the time. Choices on what to eat, choices on when to do our homework, where to go with friends, whether or not to spend our allowance on Legos. If we should have ice cream or a popsicle, choices and wisdom go hand in hand. Even I, perceptive, prudent Patty Sage of the West, am still growing in wisdom. We are going to continue with our interview in a moment, but first, this commercial break. Boys, can I get some help? I don't know, can you? Guess you don't want Doritos. <laughs> Welcome back. Wow, guys, this is getting good. We will continue with our wise sage in just a moment. But first, we're gonna see what Paul from the Bible has to say. It is now the time in our show for our investigative report. The Apostle Paul was a religious leader who knew all the Jewish laws. He was convinced that he knew the right way to live. But then something amazing happened that changed Paul's life forever. In a flash of light, he met the most amazing person who ever lived. Jesus. Suddenly, Paul's way of thinking changed completely. He realized that Jesus really is the Son of God. He was so excited that he wanted to tell everybody about it. He traveled around and set up different churches. Everywhere he went, he shared the truth about Jesus. He also wrote letters to the people in different churches to encourage them to follow God and live his way. Listen to what Paul wrote in his letter to the Romans. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Look at this part again. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. That's what it means to grow in wisdom. Letting your way of thinking be completely changed. But let's be honest, that's not so easy to do, is it? It's hard to control what we think about. If we're not careful, we can let the world around us tell us how to act, what to say, and how to live life. When we do that, we can forget what really matters. Imagine that your life is like a light bulb. Like the light bulb, your mind is powerful. You have brilliant thoughts and ideas all the time. When you put your focus on God and choose His way, his wisdom shines through you. Yet this light bulb will not work without the power source, which means it has to go into a lamp and the lamp has to connect to the wall to get electricity. In the same way, we need God as our source of wisdom to help shine through us. If we listen to the world around us, we might start to think things like this. One, get everything you can get, even if you have to be selfish. Two, be worried all the time because after all, you've got to take care of yourself. Or three, 
If you get a lot of money and things, then you'll be happy. That's the way the world thinks. You can see it in certain movies and music. Maybe you've heard some people you know talk that way. If you listen to those kinds of thoughts more than you listen to God's truth, you might start to think that way too. Those thoughts can make you stop shining God's light to others. It's like your light, which was meant to be bright, does not have God as your power source. But there is a solution. We need to get in the habit of doing what Paul said. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. We have to constantly change or renew our minds so that we can remember what's most important. And how do we do that? Well, we can pray and ask God to work in our minds so that we can live each day with wisdom. We can also read the Bible to remind ourselves what's always true. I'd like to ask our wise sage a few questions about how to renew our minds. Can you give us some ways to help us renew our minds? That is a tricky concept and we need your help. Yes, yes, this is very important. Like, like you said, we need to change the way we think. One way to do that is to trust God instead of worry. Like Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. And another one is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Don't worry about anything, no matter what happens. Tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. Another way is to remember that God is always with us and memorize verses that tell us that, like this one. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. That's because of what Christ Jesus, our Lord, has done. Wow, so what you're saying is that when we read and memorize verses like this, it keeps our thoughts on track. What is another way to renew our mind? Well, spend time with other people who follow God like you. Like we talked about last week, hang out with wise people. It could be your parents or your siblings, friends who follow God or your leaders here at church. Okay, so when you spend time talking to God, reading the Bible, talking to other people who love God, you're saying something amazing happens. Your thoughts begin to shift. New thoughts will replace the thoughts that could keep your light from shining, and God will begin to change your way of thinking. Yes, yes. And those other thoughts that you mentioned will be replaced with new thoughts like this. What's most important? To love God and love others. You don't have to worry about your life because God will take care of you. Knowing God will bring you joy. It's almost like you have a brand new mind because you've done what Paul said. You've let your way of thinking be completely changed. I think I'm starting to get it. And when you renew your mind, what happens next? Paul wrote, then you will be able to test what God wants for you and you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. What does this part mean? Well, when your mind is changed, you'll focus on what God is doing in your life. You'll remember what he says is true about you. You'll understand more and more about how to live with his wisdom all throughout your life as you follow God and live his way. One last question. Can you tell us about a time when you knew God was changing your mind and therefore how you live? Oh, for sure, of course. As PPP Wise Sage of the West, I've had a lot of opportunities to do this. But one recently had to do with feeling anxious. School is starting soon and there's so much to do. We need to buy supplies and school clothes and everyone is worried about what teacher they will have and what friends will be in their class. And there are times when I can feel worried and even frustrated about it. But then I remembered what Philippians 4, 6 says, and it tells me not to worry and to pray instead. And so that's what I've been doing. I'm trusting that God knows what is best and that he has the best teacher and friends in mind. I think it's awesome that you never stop growing in wisdom. And that shows you that no matter how old you are, you can keep on growing. Thank you, Wise Sage, for being with us this month. Again, I'm so thankful for the Wise Sage and I'm thankful for Paul's words too. Let's not forget our memory verse this month. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. 
he will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Let's pray that we will never stop growing in wisdom. God, thank you so much for the amazing wisdom of our friends, of the wise sage, of those around us, and from your word. I pray that you would help us to never stop growing in wisdom and to make wise choices every day. Amen. Now, I've decided my next step is to never stop growing in wisdom. So I think I'm going to memorize some new verses. Thank you so much for being part of our YouTube crew. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel as we help each other grow closer to Jesus and come check us out on campus on Sundays at 9 or 11 a.m.